All right, let's just jump right in. The term dark plasma. I mean, it sounds incredible, right? Like something pulled straight from a sci-fi blockbuster. This mysterious, invisible stuff just hanging out in space. But what if I told you that this very term is at the heart of a major cosmic mix-up? Well, today, we're going to untangle that whole mess. So what's the real story here? Is dark plasma some kind of ghost in the cosmic machine? A genuinely new type of matter that could unlock the universe's biggest secrets? Or is it just a classic case of mistaken identity? That is the big question we're digging into. You know, the whole confusion really boils down to this, a tale of two very different plasmas. On one side, you've got the misconception, this idea that dark plasma is just regular, ordinary matter that's, well, gone a bit dim. But the reality, the thing physicists are actually searching for, oh, that's something way, way more bizarre, a totally new kind of matter. Okay, so before we get to the really wild exotic stuff, we've got to clear the air about what dark plasma is not. And that means we have to start by busting this myth of ordinary plasma just flipping a switch into some kind of dark mode. So, let's do a quick refresher. Ordinary plasma, right? It's the fourth state of matter. It's what happens when you superheat a gas. And I mean, really heat it until its atoms just rip apart into charged particles. You know, electrons and protons. It's actually the most common state of matter in the universe. It makes up our sun, all the stars, the whole shebang. And the key thing, the most important part to remember, is that it lives and breathes through the force of electromagnetism. So when you hear people talk about this plasma being in dark mode, it's honestly a little misleading. It doesn't mean it's suddenly become invisible or poof, turned into dark matter. Nope, it just means it's not glowing brightly in the specific kind of light our human eyes can see. Maybe it's cooled down a bit, or it's less dense, so it's just not as luminous. But here's the kicker. Even when it's not shining brightly, this so-called dark mode plasma is far from hidden. Our instruments are so much more powerful than our eyeballs. We can easily detect the heat it's giving off with infrared spectroscopy, or we can pick up its high-energy signatures with X-ray and radio telescopes. It's still there, loud and clear, just not in the tiny sliver of light that we call the visible spectrum. And really, that's the bottom line right there. The stuff isn't truly invisible. It's just a little camera shot, you could say. It's still interacting with light and energy in all sorts of ways we can measure. It's still playing by the same old rules of physics we know and love. All right, so now that we've cleared up that misconception, we can finally turn to the main event. Let's talk about the real deal, the genuine, the hypothetical, and frankly, the totally mind-bending concept that has cosmologists so excited. The real dark plasma. Now, this is a completely different beast. We are not talking about familiar old protons and electrons anymore. Theoretical dark plasma would be made of something called dark sector particles. These are particles that just aren't on our map. They're not part of the standard model of physics that describes everything we can see and touch. And their number one defining feature, they do not interact with light. Period. At all. And this brings us to the fundamental split between them. Ordinary plasma, as we said, is ruled by electromagnetism, the force carried by photons, which are particles of light. But dark plasma? Theorists think it might be governed by its own private force, a kind of dark electromagnetism that only affects other dark matter particles. It's like a hidden universe with its own secret set of rules. I mean, just stop and think about what that really means. We are talking about true, total invisibility. This theoretical plasma wouldn't give off light, it wouldn't block light, it wouldn't even scatter light. If there was a giant cloud of it right in front of you, it would be completely transparent to every single telescope we have. The only way we could ever, ever know it's there is by feeling its gravity. Okay, so we've got two completely different ideas that are unfortunately sharing the same name. One is just dim, normal stuff. The other is basically a ghost that only interacts with gravity. So how can we be so sure that dark matter isn't just a whole lot of that dim, normal stuff? Well, for the answer, we have to look way, way back to the dawn of time itself. The smoking gun, the absolute definitive piece of evidence, comes from something called the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB. The easiest way to think of the CMB is as the universe's baby picture. It's this faint, ancient glow of radiation left over from the Big Bang, and it holds the secrets to what the universe was made of right at the beginning. And this is basically how scientists used that baby picture to crack the case. First, they set up a hypothesis. They said, okay, let's pretend dark matter is just a ton of ordinary dark mode plasma. 
Well, if that were true, all that plasma would have messed with the ancient light of the CMB, leaving a very specific electromagnetic fingerprint all over it. So what they do? They search for that exact fingerprint in all the data we have from the CMB. And the result? It wasn't there. Not a single trace. The hypothesis was totally busted. Game over. So why get so worked up about this distinction? I mean, it might just seem like a bunch of scientific nitpicking, right? But believe me, getting this right is absolutely critical for the entire future of physics. So let's just lay it all out. Side by side, you've got dark mode plasma made of normal particles, uses the normal electromagnetic force, and we can totally detect it with our instruments. Then you've got the real dark plasma made of hypothetical dark particles using a hypothetical dark force and only detectable by its gravity. One idea was completely ruled out by the CMB, the other one fits perfectly. They could not be more different. And that right there is why this matters so much. If we confuse these two things, we risk sending scientists on a massive wild goose chase. We'd be building these incredibly expensive experiments to look for dim, normal matter when we should be designing completely new, out-of-the-box methods to find a substance that doesn't care about light at all. It could literally derail the entire hunt for dark matter. And look, the stakes here could not be higher, because when you add up all the dark matter and all the dark energy in the universe, you get this number, roughly 95%. That means 95% of the entire universe is made of stuff we do not understand. The ordinary matter that makes up you, me, the Earth, the stars, it's just the tip of a giant, invisible cosmic iceberg. Which leaves us with this final, absolutely mind-bending thought to chew on. The idea of a dark electromagnetism is already pretty wild. But if that exists, what else is out there? Could there be an entire dark physics with its own set of forces, its own interactions, all operating in parallel to our world, secretly shaping the 95% of the cosmos we can't see? Now that is the grand mystery we are just beginning to explore.